Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation on how to efficiently share projects between two or more Autodesk Smoke on Mac systems. Here at Digistore we have the following setup. We have a central storage, a DVS Spicer Box Ultra, which is essentially a SAN in a box. We have two client systems, two Mac Pros running Smoke on Mac, which are attached um, with uh, a fiber channel connection. And both of these clients have their own dedicated frame store on the SAN, which allows instant asset sharing without data duplication. And um, this is possible because the SAN is running a file system um, <clears throat> made by Quantum, the uh, SNFS Stornext file system. And in case you're wondering why the Spicer Box is called Spicer Box, well, in the background there is a DVS application called Spicer. Um, since this whole presentation is um, all about um, smoke on Mac, I'm not going to explain too much about what Spicer actually does, but let's just accept that it is scanning the SAN and um, providing content management capabilities. Okay, let's take a look at our setup. We have a suite B and we have our master suite, which is a suite A. I'm logged in to suite A through a VNC connection. And I want to go through this um, by explaining two workflows. Workflow number one would be um, I am working on um, on a project in suite A, my master suite with my client, and that project cannot be finished because then another session is basically booked in. So ideally, I may want to move the whole project to another suite and continue to work there. So that's scenario A, and scenario B would be um, I have two smoke on Mac systems, but I would like to share assets between both of them. So let's take a look at suite A. As you can see, we have we have a timeline. So this is basically what needs to be done. And um, I also have a final clip here for playback. So it's, it's um, a rather simple setup, um, but enough to show you the concept behind it. So let's say for a second, I um, wasn't able to finish this project because a new session has been booked in and I need to load a new project. So second session and I start basically with a blank project. So here I am ready to go in suite A, but in suite B I may want to continue to work with what I have done here. So let's take a look at how we would do that. If I start up my system suite B, it's connected to the SAN, the Spicer box, so I could start to um, work straight away. However, I'm using a different frame store than suite A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to another suite, which is suite A. So here I am, suite A. Um, it is also connected to the Spicer box. And if I open the frame store, I can see that this person has already started with the second session, but I would like to continue with the other session. So I say start and load the whole project. It is important to mention that at this stage, Suite B is basically completely using the resources of Suite A. So I'm using um, all the database information of Suite A. I'm also using the frame store of Suite A, which luckily is on the same sand, so it doesn't make really um, any difference. However, if you imagine this whole frame store would be on a local um, directly attached storage, I would run into serious problems like um, maybe I don't have enough bandwidth and how do I transfer all the data in real time to my other suite. So having a SAN is quite essential here. I have started the project and you can see down here, if I switch to my timeline view, I have pretty much exactly the same project. I'm able to play this back in real time if I want. So just thumbnail view should be enough. So as you can see, there are no problems and I could continue to now creatively work remotely on that workstation. So if I open the library and expand it, you can see I'm actually in suite A and not in suite B, which is my local machine here. Okay, so that is the first scenario. I'm remotely locked in on another computer 
Um, and the second scenario would be, I would like to share assets between two smoke or max suites. So let's take a look how that exactly would work. Okay, so here I am again, VNC, as you can see, onto suite A to show you how this actually would work. So I have opened exactly the same project again, but at this stage, I may have finished some titles or some other effects work, which I would like to share with another workstation. Um, since two systems cannot share the same library, I need to create a new library. So let's go ahead and create a new library. I call this Suite B. And I drag the clip into Suite B, which is basically a very long sequence of DPX files, okay? I could also drag in the whole timeline, which I'm not going to do right now. So, so far so good. Suite A is probably done with that shot and I may want to go to Suite B. Okay, so here we are again. This time I decide not to log into Suite A. There is no reason for me to do that because I um, have my own project. I just need assets. So what I do is I select Suite B from my list and I open the frame store on the SAN. I decide to make an assist project. Here I am in um, Suite B and if I switch back, you can see that I have here Suite A. So how do I get assets into my frame store quickly and without hassle? Well, if I open this library, um, I only have access to my own library, so I need to browse a network. Over here, I have a variet variety of different um, workstations. Um, I go to Suite A and I decide to browse its frame store. Once I have done that, I can see that some of them are locked because they are currently in use, but fortunately not the library called Suite B. So this is actually the clip that I need and that I would like to transfer over to my frame store for work. So um, it is important to mention that although these are two minutes of DPX file sequences, no additional data will be written to the disks. <clears throat> if I open the properties window of the Spicer box, I can see that it has a capacity of about 42 terabytes and currently th almost three of them are in use. So this is basically the number of um, files, the size that is on the disk. And if I copy that, um, it will actually create links rather than duplication of files. So once I do this, you will see that this process, this linking process is extremely fast. At no time during this process, the number will increase here. I'm basically ready to go. The file exists two times, one time on my frame store and also on the other frame store. I can select that file, load it in, and play it back without any issues. So this sort of project collaboration is um, very important to understand if you want to improve the smoke on Mac workflow that you have currently in your facility. Um, this sort of high speed um, and instant access to libraries is only possible because I'm working on the same file system and I don't have to use um, an ethernet connection to get the data across from another local storage.